Today, I'm gonna to be doing something that I don't think anybody should probably do to their car. I don't think it's really a great idea. Um, probably not a terrible idea, but not a great idea. Uh, and what that is, is I'm gonna be removing the blow off valve from my car. The only reason for this is uh, I wanna see how long the turbo actually lasts without a blow off valve. My name is Zach Ellis and welcome to my journey. I don't know where I'm going or how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to be tearing shit up every step of the way. Along with a few friends of course. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be building, modifying, repairing, fabricating, and racing every chance I get. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and of course, enjoy the video. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back out here with the SRT4. Um, last video, I kind of reassembled everything the way it needed to be. I test drove the car, made sure there was no issues with the car. I did a 10 mile test run, so not a very big one. Um, I had a hose blow off, I fixed that already. And then the V-band clamp down underneath on the exhaust is messed up, so I have to fix that. But the big thing for today is what happens to your car when you remove the blow off valve. It's nothing short term. You ever hear cars, you get the blow off whoosh sound, or you get the stoot -toot -toot -toot. So I'm gonna have the stoot -toot 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 sound once I remove it, uh, in theory at least. I've never removed it before, but I'm expecting to hear that sound. And the whole reason that I'm doing this, it's not for the sound. I like the blow off sound plenty. I did a lot of research on the blow off valve I have, which is the Gretti Type RS. Um, I want to see what the long term effects are on the turbo running it without a blow off valve. I don't expect anything to happen. It's not like you remove it and the car blows up. It just, from what they say, it creates turbo, turbo surge and it uh, reduces the longevity of the turbo life. Is that true? I'm sure it is. But I think you're talking a turbo that should last 100,000 miles. It's going to last now 75,000 miles. You know, if, yeah, those numbers are rough, but you get what I'm saying. But I hope that this will help kind <clears> of <throat> answer any questions for anybody who's concerned about having no blow off valve. I know anybody watching this video has probably seen like uh, TJ Hunt videos or LZ's videos or Jimmy O's videos. They're all into like the JDM scenes and it seems like you never see any of those cars with a blow off valve. I don't know what the reason for that is. Uh, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know if they're deleting them or if they're just not installing them. I'm assuming they're just not installing them. I don't know. We're going to try the theory out on the old USDM Dodge Neon. We're going to see what happens. Can the Neon withstand the uh, consequences from having no blow off valve? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Um, let me take you over to the car. My car is pretty much bone stock. It has full bolt on, so you got uh, intercooler, or you got a cold air intake. I've got an intercooler down there. Um, I have a full exhaust. My car has a three inch catless downpipe with a three and a half inch full exhaust. The car does have a muffler. This is the blow off valve I have. Like I said, it's a Gretti Type RS. The way I'm gonna be deleting it is I'm actually just gonna unbolt it. I'm gonna trace the footprint of it and I'm gonna make my own little block off plate from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead, get my tools out and uh, remove this blow off valve. nothing fancy clean the corrosion off of it um, it's gonna do what I needed to do and then here's the blow off valve we can just kind of to verify that our holes are in the right place she uh, fits perfectly covers her up 
So I'm gonna go ahead, throw this thing on the car now. Cool, we got the uh, block off plate installed. I used the same gasket from the blow off valve to block it off. So now all that is left to do is to test drive the car and uh, see how long the turbo lasts. So I'll pick the camera back up Sunday when we go to the car show and I'll see you guys then. Alright, so it is now, it's like three days later from when I actually removed the uh, blow off valve. We're going to get a test drive. I'm actually running the car over to my friend Bill's shop. He's going to uh, knock out an alignment on it for me. So I figured this is as good of, any t good of a time as any to test out if I'm going to blow my turbo up. <laughs> I doubt it. It's going to be like a 10 minute drive, but it's worth a shot. This is really just so you guys can kind of hear what it sounds like without a blow-off valve. Uh, definitely, again, don't really recommend this, but we don't it. Turn my heat on because it's chilly. Let's get out of here. Conditions are far from ideal. I got bald tires, as you know, and it's raining out. Well, not raining, but it's wet. It rained a little this morning. Ugh. But that's all right. Wing skirt. I want to get out of like the town limits. Well, not so much the town, but I want to get away from where all the people know where I work on my car live. I'm not trying to piss anybody off and making a ton of noise. should be at work actually so I should be all right to make a f ton of noise Think about the neon the heat works so well I don't know if 
this is the right spot to park. Well, we'll park here and if Bill yells at us, we'll move her. All right, guys, we made it to Bill's for my alignment. Um, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Uh, again, I don't know that I recommend you do this, but if you like the sound, I am gonna try and find out if this is really gonna hurt the longevity of the turbo. Um, I'm gonna go a whole racing season with the blow-off valve deleted, so racing starts in like a month, um, roughly a month. Uh, I'll do probably 15 events this year, something like that, and I'll actually be able to see if 15 hard racing events, along with mixed in street driving, hurts the turbo. I doubt that it will, I really do, but I guess we'll find out. Hopefully you guys like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one.